The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was released in May 2015 with two expansions, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, released in October 2015 and May 2016 respectively. In the game, players take on the role of almost 100-year-old Geralt of Rivia, a witcher who hunts and slays monsters and is searching for his adopted daughter Ciri, who is on the run from the Wild Hunt. Here is everything you need to know about the game. If you've only watched The Witcher, you need to play Witcher 3. Netflix's The Witcher has breathed new life into CD Project Red's The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, and fans of the show should definitely take the time to play the game. While the games have predated the show by quite a number of years, the show and the English translations of the book have catapulted The Witcher into the pop culture spotlight like never before. Yet Witcher 3 may be the very best representation of Geralt and his world. Both the Netflix series and the video games are based on six novels and 15 short Witcher stories written by Andrzej Sapowski. To date, there are three main Witcher games, The Witcher, 2007, The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, 2011, and The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, 2015. The Witcher 3 received universal acclaim from audiences and critics for its stunning visuals and captivating narrative. Fans of Netflix's show, especially those who enjoy the lore, monsters, and characters, should definitely give Witcher 3 a try. Although Witcher 3 came out seven years ago, the graphics are still impressive, and the visuals are absolutely stunning. Players take on the role of Geralt of Rivia, taking on contracts to hunt down monsters searching for Ciri as she runs from the Wild Hunt and, as lovers of the game well know, playing a lot of Gwent. Why should you play Witcher 3? Well, it is a win for veterans and Netflix show newbies alike. Many of the beloved characters from Netflix's show are showcased in The Witcher 3, albeit a few years older. Players will recognize a more mature Ciri, Yennefer, and Vesemir. Players are also introduced to a plethora of new and interesting characters in The Witcher 3, like Zoltan Chivi, the dwarf, Regis, the vampire, and Johnny the godling. These characters, and many more, more add to the game's rich storytelling and environment. Although The Witcher 3 looks intimidating, it is a fantastic game for both the gaming veterans and those newer to open-world RPGs. There are four different levels of difficulty for the player to choose from right at the start of the game, which include Death March, very hard for those looking for an extreme challenge, Just the Story, very easy for those who are less interested in the gameplay mechanics, and several variations in between. The game also allows the player to change the difficulty at any point during the game via the option menu. At the start of the game, there is a tutorial to help new players learn how to run, climb, fight, and more, so even those with less gaming experience don't need to be intimidated. Overall, fans of Netflix's The Witcher will enjoy the exciting adventure in The Witcher 3. The game gives players a new look at some of the show's most famous characters and monsters and adds a whole new roster of new ones. Players will be immersed in a world where they fight monsters, help people, and make tough choices along the way, all of which can lead to one of multiple Witcher 3 character endings, with announcements of a four fourth Witcher game in the works by CD Projekt Red and more seasons of The Witcher coming to Netflix, now is the best time for players to explore the world of The Witcher 3. Anyway, for veteran players, there's a Witcher 3 secret that takes seven in-game years to uncover. What looks to be one of The Witcher 3's last remaining Easter eggs has been uncovered, and it takes seven in-game years in order to be revealed. YouTuber X Letalis discovered the secret following hints from Witcher 3 quest designer Philip Weber that there was more to reveal in regards to the Blood & Wine DLC. DLC character Vivian de Tabris, who plays a central role in the expansion's The Warble of a Smitten Night quest. In Blood and Wine, Vivian is a woman cursed to look like a bird, specifically an oriole. Geralt can aid Vivian in having the curse removed, of which one solution is to transfer the curse to an oriole egg. The downside of this method is that she would then have the same lifespan as the average oriole bird, seven years at the most. When asked by fans at a recent charity livestream for Ukraine about the yet-to-be-uncovered Easter egg, Weber said it was on on Skellig, and that it goes quite a bit further than players might expect. He wasn't exaggerating. As Ex Letalis points out, the Easter egg involves either meditating or using PC console commands to move the in-game clock forward seven years to discover Vivian's fate. Sure enough, Vivian can be found dead at an inn in Skellig seven years later, bringing her storyline to a close. Ex Letalis comments that the Easter egg seems unfinished, as Vivian can still be greeted even after she collapses on the floor. Her death also causes her clothing to warp at an awkward angle, making the whole situation seem more like a mistake than an actual conclusion for her quest. In addition, no characters seem to notice Vivian's fate. Still, it's cool to see this attention to detail in an NPC interaction that wouldn't be seen by more than 99% of players. Moving on, Witcher 3 side quests you shouldn't miss for the best story experience. First, the Witcher 3 side quest, A Tower Full of Mice, shouldn't be missed. Early on in the main storyline of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Geralt will meet the beautiful and romanceable 
uncle Kara Metz, a sorceress who seems to have fallen on some hard times and is living in Velen. She asks Geralt to assist her with something and meet her at her home. Geralt learns from Kara that Fike Island is cursed and full of rats, and Kara needs help lifting the curse. A tower full of mice in The Witcher 3 is the start of a line of quests involving Geralt and Kara. When the player makes the right choices, these quests can lead to Geralt romancing Kara and to Kara Metz helping in the battle with the Wild Hunt at Kaer Morhen. The quest gives players a look into how the decisions they make as Geralt can affect the future in the game, and also gives players a bit of practice when it comes to romance in the world of The Witcher 3. Next, The Witcher 3's side quest, The Last Wish, gives more depth to Yennefer. Speaking of romance in The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, one of Geralt's possible romantic companions is Yennefer of Vengerberg. When Yennefer and Geralt first met, Geralt used a djinn to bind their fates together. Now Yennefer wants to find another djinn and reverse the effect of this wish to see if her relationship with Geralt is because of the djinn or not. Players looking to romance Yennefer in Witcher 3 definitely need to take on this quest, and even if they don't plan on romancing her, this still gives some insights into Geralt's past and his relationship with the sorceress. Players also get to see another side of Yennefer when she is with Geralt alone. The Last Wish is another side quest that shapes the future of the end game, but players should be warned, depending on their choices in this quest and another, Geralt's future could end up lonely. Moving on, The Witcher 3 side quest, The Cave of Dreams, reveals more about Geralt. The Cave of Dreams is a fun and insightful side quest in Witcher 3 that gives players a look into the mind of Geralt of Rivia and of other warriors of Skellig. It's a stunning, if somewhat creepy, quest that will leave players entranced. While the quest reward isn't anything incredible, the experience alone is worth the journey. When in Skellig, after the quest The King is Dead, Long Live the King, Geralt can encounter Blue Boy Lugos' ship near the mouth of a cave. After getting more information from Blue Boy himself, Geralt and three others set off into the Cave of Dreams, where men face their greatest fears, after, of course, ingesting some hallucinogenic herbs. After dispatching each man's greatest fear, the player gets to see Geralt's own biggest fear. Finally, The Witcher 3 side quest, Equin Phantoms, gives more time with Roach. For many Witcher 3 players, Roach, and the related Roach bugs and memes that come along with her, is one of the most loved characters in the game. Roach can appear at the player's side in an instant, even if she is oceans away, can get stuck in the smallest of obstacles, and often ends up on rooftops. Equin Phantoms gives players a chance to discuss these feats with Roach and hear her side of the story. When Geralt has drunk some suspicious tea, he discovers he and Roach can talk to one another, and Roach proceeds to help Geralt solve the mystery of a hermit being haunted by a demon. It is a lighthearted quest that shows the love between a horse and its master, and answers some of the mysteries of Roach. That is all the time we had for today, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great gaming news. Till next time, cheers!